At airports worldwide, a silent workforce of formidable trucks stands ready to perform an extraordinary task, towing massive airplanes, and their power is simply jaw-dropping. Have you ever wondered why we rely on these trucks instead of letting the plane reverse on its own? And is a plane even capable of reversing on its own? Everybody who has been on a flight knows the procedure, the doors close, the jet bridge is removed, and the airplane is starting to go backwards. But this isn't done by the plane itself. Yes, the plane is capable of doing this on its own by using the reverse thrusters, but it's hardly ever done that way. Using the reverse thrusters would make a lot of noise and would blow away any loose parts or even people on the platform, making this a safety risk. It would also suck all kinds of dirt into the engine, which will increase the wear and tear of the engine. So to move the airplane backwards, a pushback tractor is used. This special vehicle tends to weigh up to 54 tons, 119,000 pounds, and has a drawbar pull of 334 kilonauts, 75,000 pound feet, enough to push back even the largest planes. The driver's cabin can be lowered and raised depending on the moment of the reversing process. Overall, there are two different kinds of pushback tractors available, conventional and tow barless TBL. Let's look at these two vehicles and the way the pushback procedures are being done. Conventional Pushback Tractor A conventional pushback tractor is a ground support vehicle used to move aircraft while they are on the ground. It's equipped with a tow bar, a rigid or flexible bar that connects the front of the pushback tractor to the aircraft's nose landing gear or main landing gear. The tow bar serves as a mechanical link allowing the tractor operator to control the aircraft's movement during pushback. Here's how the process typically works with a conventional pushback tractor. Positioning The pushback tractor is brought into position behind the aircraft and the tow bar is connected to the aircraft's landing gear. Communication The tractor operator communicates with the flight deck crew or ground personnel using hand signals, radio communication, or intercom systems to ensure a smooth pushback process. Pushback the pushback tractor slowly moves forward, applying controlled force to the aircraft's landing gear through the tow bar, causing the aircraft to move backward. The tractor operator carefully maneuvers the aircraft along the desired path, pushing it away from the gate or other designated area. Braking The aircraft's brakes are used to control its speed during pushback. The flight deck crew typically applies the brakes when necessary, coordinating with the tractor operator. Disconnection after the aircraft is in the desired position, the tow bar is disconnected and the pushback tractor is moved away from the aircraft. Tow Barless Pushback Tractor TBO. Tow Barless Pushback Tractors are a more modern and advanced type of ground support vehicle. Unlike conventional pushback tractors, TBL tractors don't use a tow bar to connect to the aircraft. Instead, they employ specialized lifting arms or cradles that are placed under the aircraft's nose landing gear or main landing gear. Here is how the process typically works with a tow barless pushback tractor. Positioning The TBL tractor is positioned in front of the aircraft and the lifting arms or cradles are carefully positioned under the aircraft's landing gear. Lifting The lifting arms or cradles are activated and they gently lift the aircraft's wheels off the ground, taking the weight of the aircraft. The TBL tractor operator ensures that the aircraft is stable and securely held by the lifting mechanism. Control the TBL tractor operator controls the movement of the aircraft using a remote control unit or from within the tractor's cab. The tractor's advanced hydraulics and precise controls allow for smooth and precise maneuvering of the aircraft. Pushback The TBL tractor slowly moves backward, pushing the aircraft along the desired path. The operator can easily control the direction and speed of the pushback operation. Braking as with conventional pushback, the aircraft's brakes are used to control its speed and ensure safe pushback, lowering and disconnection. Once the aircraft is in its desired position, the lifting arms or cradles are lowered and the T-bill tractor is moved away from the aircraft. Advantages of tow barless pushback tractors Faster and more efficient pushback operations due to the elimination of tow bar attachment and detachment procedures. Reduce manpower requirements as fewer personnel are needed for pushback operations compared to conventional pushback tractors. Safer pushback process as there is no risk of tow bar related incidents such as tow bar shear. If you found today's video informative, please show your support by giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and turning on notifications for future updates. 
Are you curious about other aspects of aviation or have any questions about aircraft ground handling? We'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts and comments in the section below. Your engagement is vital to us and we appreciate every interaction with our aviation community. Your engagement is valuable to us.